Hey, hey, Milky here, back again with another one. Today we were taking a bit of a stroll through Marvel Snap Zone and I found my way over to their meta deck list. Now, if you haven't checked out Marvel Snap Zone or you don't know about it, it's an unreal resource for deck building, card guides, guides about the game and, and different mechanics in the game. It's got a ton of stuff there and the guys over at Marvel Snap Zone are doing an unreal job. Um, I found my way over to the meta uh, deck list and as I was taking a look through, I was looking for some interesting stuff to play, particularly focusing on budget stuff because I'm aware that I want to make things accessible to as many people uh, that are checking them out as possible. And I found my way into this Xerocula list. And it's a really interesting list that I found. There's lots of like top high rolly kind of stuff here, which have often got, you know, series five cards in it or potentially built out with, with more of that top end. But this Xerocula list, list looked really, really interesting. So I jumped in and took a look at it. And as I was looking at it, I was like, how can I potentially improve this deck? Well, what changes that I, would I make that maybe even take this to the next level, maybe even make it a little bit more fun or just make it a little bit more me. Um, and I thought about bringing Destroyer into this list. So I think the, the clear sub for me is when you bring Destroyer into the list, Sunspot might not actually get the full value that, uh, that he originally would potentially with this deck. So we subbed out Sunspot and we brought in Destroyer. And to be honest, the, the list went a little crazy. For, for a budget list, for an accessible list for a lot of players, it went a little insane and we got tons of wins. We're going to showcase them now. Enjoy the gameplay. Definitely check out Marvel Snap Zone if you're into more resources around Marvel Snap. They do some awesome stuff on there. Hope you enjoy the gameplay. If you're new here, throw us a sub. That really does help us out. Like the video. It pushes it up the recommendation charts and really helps us with the YouTube algorithm. So I really appreciate that. Um, I'm going to jump off for now. Hope you enjoy the gameplay. Hope you enjoy the list. And until the next one, I'll see you then. I think we'll lizard here. Not like lizard Cosmo or something. Because his Bucky gets pulled, but our Red Skull gets pulled. I think we do win that. Uh, we win that little trade there. Our play lines have actually lined up quite well here. Okay, Cosmo, Cosmo, fine. Uh, I think we'll do this. Preemptively. I think it's better than anything else. We might be able to do this. It does clog up our squirrel girl though. Uh hmm. kinda awkward. Let's just do this for the minute. Sentry. Okay. I think I have to do this. He might lock down middle. But we just hope we draw into Infinite or Destroyer here. Infinite and or Destroyer, and I think we're good. I would say he locks down middle if he's looking at doing a Professor X thing. Which is, you know, we're fine with there. Okay, okay. No worries. So we did draw infinite, so perfect. So we can, we have to stack power here. I don't think there's any way he's beating us with 20. This is the same amount of power. Let's go ahead and do this. He might have like a Shang-Chi or something. Which would kind of suck, but... I think we actually, yeah, because we have the armor, I think we're all good. Is it the Shang-Chi that we predicted? It's a destroyer. It's a destroyer. I, did, I should have thought about destroyer. It's not going to get him there. And we get the Dracula destroyer there. Beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, that's a very obvious destroyer, actually, because of the void. I should have thought about that. Void and Professor X, very obvious. Even Cosmo, Daredevil. Um... I thought he was snapping because of the Shang-Chi. But yeah, get there in the end. Avengers compound, right off the bat. Yeah, uh, we've got Dracula in hand. Like to see that. I think we'll get out Squirrel Girl here. We could hold. Um, but I like uh, I like moving, moving forward with this deck, making some proactive plays. 
Screw Girl could get punished, but we'll, uh, we'll play it out. Alright, so we got uh, Ant-Man. So... I think we're going to armor. Maybe armor up this location. Since we're going to be playing in there a bit later on anyways. Let's go ahead and do this. Still thinking about exactly where I'm going to be playing the rest of the cards. Okay, so we've got some flexibility to move around the armor. And possibly the Ant-Man too, so... I think we'll play Ant-Man here. We've got the Destroyer play line at the moment. Could potentially play Destroyer into Atlantis on the final turn. I guess I'll do this. Maybe I should have... Uh, maybe I should have put Kazar there. Set it up for Kazar. Okay, so I think I'm doing... I'm doing Dracula, Kazar. We can also move um, armor. Should we want? We can move armor and Ant Man. We can move armor and Dracula. We can do a few different things here. Let's do this, and we'll play Dracula in. Okay, so he kind of. I think this is a bot. This has got to be a bot. Yeah, this is sure. This is a bot. Okay. Um. We'll throw Ice Man. Will we? No, we can't. Uh. So. Yeah, Dracula is just the play here. We'll do this. We'll do. Um, we'll move around our cards to suit. I think we're going to be going with the destroyer play line. Okay. Okay. So he could potentially move his uh, double dino there as well to here. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll move armor. Move Ant Man. Uh, sorry, we'll move Dracula. Armor Dracula. This is good. Uh, I mean, th this ends up being the same amount of power. So we can do this, and we can just we can just destroy a middle. Let's do this. Move our armor. We have a decent shot on our Dracula here. Could have guaranteed our Dracula by playing Red Skull. He goes to 10 here. Sure. Okay, we're going to come over the top here. Yeah, we're already, we're already in the lead. But, um... Yeah, this was a bot. This was a bit of a... This is a bit of a bot game, uh, but that's okay. We even get the uh, Infinite discard, so very nice, very nice. I actually like the uh, play lines of this deck. We we'll drop Iceman into the vault here. We get we'll get the ball rolling here. We can um we can zero Lizard if we want it. Um, we could also hold zero for the final turns of the game. Often they don't get four cards into the vault, so. I might go down this playline. Just dropping out a lizard here. Okay, we do have lots of one drops. We can um we can protect all this if we want. We also might not need to. The reason I say that is because we might be able to zero out our destroyer. Lining up the final turns. Let's go for this. We could also Cosmo out our destroyer here. So we've got a few different things we could do here. I'm assuming this is going to be some sort of a... Uh, Carnage play here. OK, 
Okay. Let's see if we can't draw our uh, Dracula. Alright, surely this is a... Surely this is a Galactus deck then. It's going to pull our Destroyer regardless. But you know what? I think we're okay with that. Galactus over there. We could have skipped and potentially gotten an Infinite. I don't know how this deck deals with Galactus, to be honest. For a Shang-Chi. It's the better play for a Shang-Chi. Well, actually, no, it, it wouldn't have mattered because we have, uh, we have armor. <clears throat> so he has to beat, um, he has to be 15 here. Uh, I assume he's got it. He's probably got a death. A demon, Chavez death. Yeah, he's definitely got it here. I mean, it's close. It's close, but we don't quite get there in the end. Zero often is just a body on the board with this deck. Start of turn six, destroy. Um, uh, swap hands, so... Let's go ahead and get Lizard down here. He might flip that. We don't have a way to. Um, which is always a little awkward. Um, I think it's probably time to start putting some things out on the board. Make some meaningful plays here. Brood. Okay, so probably Silver Surfer, Patriot. Cerebro 2, along one of those lines. Um, we do want to complete our Ant Man, but we might have to do it with one of our big cards. We'll see here. Wong. Okay, okay. So, I guess he's playing out his combo now. What's he going to give us? He's going to give us a lot of stuff, potentially. He gets minus two here. We only go plus one. It's kind of like not worth playing. Let's do this. I don't know what he's going to give us. I can't imagine it would be something big for Dracula, but it might be something. Scrooge Zero Destroyer is what we give him. He gives us an Iron Man. Is he just going to destroy it here, though? Destroy it here or here wins him the game, does it? No, I think if he destroys here, we win. We go 10. This takes us to 13. We go to 26. But he could also fill this up, which is awkward. Hmm. I don't see a better play line, though. I mean, this maybe. Then we're kind of YOLOing the Dracula. We might do zero Squirrel Girl or something weird. Zero here beats us. Squirrel Girl there beats us. Tough one. Tough one. Um, we 
Not an easy play line here, hey? I think he's going to play Destroyer here. Okay, we get the retreat. All right, so for this one, we've got uh, Sanctum. We can get in there with a little Squirrel Girl. It's not massive power, but it's something. Okay, armor. Sure. Ooh, that's uh, very unfortunate for him. Um, he might... Surely he doesn't have a... I kind of just want to play this here. Because it probably won't get value here. I'll just play this here. It's fine. It's fine. Unless he has like a Heimdall or a, I don't know, something. Oh gosh, what is this? What is this? Opponent snapped. Opponent snapped. We need Squirrel Girl off the top. We need Squirrel Girl off the top before turn... Oh no, I can't even do Squirrel Girl now. <laughs> I, I cancelled myself out of my Squirrel Girl playline, but we... <laughs> we... <laughs> We unwittingly predicted his Killmonger. Oh, dude, sometimes you're just lucky, hey. I actually made a horrible play there, but sometimes you're just lucky. Not bad. We also could zero out our Red Skull, which seems maybe more impactful. Let's go ahead and do that. I don't know what this guy's game plan is, but we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so we will we'll probably go down the route of zeroing out Red Skull at this point. Scout a card. Okay, we won't be zeroing out Red Skull. But that's okay. We'll do Cosmo here. Our Jacula probably going to go into, Metro into Metropolis, I think. Oh, it's Kitchen. Sure. Okay, so we can do... We can do Kazar. Kazar... And then we can play Red Skull next turn, maybe. Shuri, okay. Shuri. So he might have just a great play line here. Won't be able to Taskmaster here. Could uh, potentially. Could potentially Arnim Zola something into here. Okay, so he's Arnim zola this way. Which means... That we need to go middle. As hard as we can. See, Arnim zola is this. We need to try and win these two. I think. We just hope we hit. Because... He could Taskmaster here. I think he's going to Arnim Zola. It's a flip, right? Taskmaster's here. If he Taskmaster's here, we have no shot. Wait, well, we win here then. Yeah, no, so it works out to be exactly the same thing. We just have to hit Infinite. I think. I think we have to hit Infinite is... The 100%. Okay, so it is Zola. This gives him 33 power. So, can we get this if we hit Infinite? We will get it if we hit Infinite. It's a 50-50. It's a true 50-50. Get it. We get it. We would have uh, lost by one if we hit Red Skull. Would We won. With the uh, the infinite roll, man. Good turn one play. Was this is a move deck with the Bifrost? Oh, we could be in a spot of bother here. Okay, Sinister London makes me not want to play anything. Okay, not a particularly impactful night crawler, but hey, do what you do. So, 
our Dracula next turn could either go crazy or not so crazy. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. Moving around something a bit bigger. And you get a really nice uh, double up there. Very nice. Very nice. Could easily fill this next turn. I'm, I'm liking his play lines. I'm liking his play lines here. We're not going to get uh, the raft here even if we roll. Well. Surely he moves just the Nightcrawler and plays something. So we've got double Dracula here. Gonna go absolutely bonkers, I think, at the end of the game. We just need our Red Skull, huh? Red Skull or armor. This is awkward playing it there. It could... Because he might need to armor this. Nope, oh, can't do that. Pass. Red Skull armor. We, I think we just do this now for for the destroyer. Um, I'm trying to get cute with it with Red Skull armor draw. Two and four. Let's just do the destroyer play. Double silenced out destroyer sounds pretty mean. Pretty mean. This guy's all over the shop. He's flying around. He's moving his night crawlers all over the place. I don't know what his game plan is here. I don't think he's going to come close here. He, he clearly didn't draw the cards he was hoping to draw. So we did draw the armor, but uh, this is just better. This is just better. Is this a bot? This makes me think it's a bot. Or someone that's just unlocked Human Torch and been like, Oh, sick, Human Torch. <laughs> so he had the the worst po possible Dracula targets. Um, but yeah, we still get the win. Still get the win.